In the previous video, we have discussed the features of ES6 in detail. In this section, we are going to cover how Angular manages modules, components, templates, and building blocks of Angular application architecture. Throughout this journey, we will talk about component architecture, directives and metadata of Angular components. In the first video, we are going to talk about architecture of Angular 2 application. Let's understand the different building blocks we are going to have in our application. Let's start with Angular application architecture. These are main building blocks of our application. Where services has the same role as what we had in Angular 1.x to capture data and inject in our controllers. Here controllers are being replaced by components. A component is typically a TypeScript class which has a template attached. It usually assembles a screen, UI element, or a route in the application. The building blocks are modules, components, directives, component template, services, pipes. Now we have everything in the form of ES6 class, either its pipe, directive, or a service. Let's quickly understand these one by one. Components. Components are basic building blocks of an Angular 2 app. A component is typically a TypeScript class which has a template attached. Modules. Angular app comprises of several modules. A module typically exports something of a purpose. In Angular 2, everything is wrapped inside ES6 modules, and we are using ES6 import export to use those modules. Services. A good Angular 2 application is one in which specific tasks are assigned to different services. A component may consume these services to perform data injection tasks. Directives. Directives are everywhere in Angular 2. A directive is a TypeScript class with a metadata. Directives may or may not have a template attached. Let's combine all these things together in one architecture where they can talk to each other. You can see we have components showing the data using template, and services are injecting data in our application. We can have several components, which are connected via routing or selectors. These components may have templates attached to it, which may display component properties and attach events to interact with the properties. A component may use a service to access a particular feature or perform a specific task. Services must be injected into components before they can be used from within the component. This is referred to as dependency injection, where we would be injecting the services inside the component and we would get the data. The diagram shows an overall overview of the basic architecture of a skeleton Angular 2 app, where component is the central point, self-contained, injecting data in template using data binding, property binding, and performing action using DOM events. Using injector, service are being injected into components using dependency injection mechanism. In Angular applications, we use inbuilt modules like at Angular slash core, router module, and the forms module. We are also creating modules, which we import and export in another way to use functionality. These are ES6 modules, and every separate service, pipe, directive and component, acts as an ES6 module, defined using an ES6 class. Here we have the ES6 class root component, and it is representing our component here. So it is also representing an Angular module. Component is a well-known term in Angular 2. A component is just a TypeScript class, which has a template attached with it. A component may have child components. Components can be navigated using routing or selectors. A component has a metadata decorator associated, which describes the component. Metadata tells Angular that the associated TypeScript class is actually to be considered as a component. We can see the same in this example. At component metadata explains component definition. Now let's talk about directives. Component is a good example of a directive with a template. There are two kinds of directives in Angular 2, structural and attribute directives. Structural directives modify the structure or layout of the DOM. Attribute directives alter the behavior of the elements. Examples are ng4, ngif, ngswitch, 
NG model, and so on. In this example, product component is being used in root component as directive. One of the key features of AngularJS is dependency injection. Components need to use services to perform tasks, and these services are injected into the component via the injector. This is known as dependency injection. The injector provides the instance of the service so that it can be used in the component. Here we are injecting a service in the constructor of this class and adding that in the provider tag of our component. We have created an Angular app skeleton in our previous section. We will be using the same to build our demo application here. Let's have a quick look at our components. We will use this app as a quick start app and we'll add other building blocks to it. We have already created a bootstrap layout where we have a header, footer, nav, and the body part. Let's take a quick look on code. Now we are using Angular 2 code. Just upgrade with package JSON version name. Everything else is still the same. This is our root component where we are using other components as directives. We have defined system.js configuration in the system.config file. System.js is our module loader. By defining packages in system.config, we are setting system.js for files loaded from the app slash folder. Here we are loading the final packages of Angular 2, Angular 2 core, common compiler, routers, and forms. We are setting the default extension to JS since we will be loading files transpiled into .js from .ts. Systems.import, parentheses, app slash main, parentheses, loads the main.ts file where we are bootstrapping the root application component. So here we are bootstrapping the application, and here we have defined the main module, which has all the component definition, all the providers, and this is the main component which we are bootstrapping. In index.html using system.import, we are getting root component loaded. Here we are using TypeScript transpiler. And in .ts config, we have defined target to transpile ES6 TypeScript code. Here we have defined the target to ES5. This is all about different building blocks of Angular applications. We will understand more on these blocks in coming sessions, like dependency injection of services, routing, data binding and pipes. In the next video, we will deep dive into components and modules.